recently, G-Shock made an unusual announcement. And it came to us first courtesy of GQ and then it's uh, confirmed by G Central later. And this one is kind of mind boggling. We know that G Shock has been using technology to further its watch design, but this one, I think they stretch way too far and cross the line of absurdity when they used or collaborated with an AI to design this one-of-a-kind G-Shock, and I think it's a bad idea. Artificial intelligence has brought about a revolution in the way we work, changing mundane tasks into professional-grade results at an unprecedented speed. However, it's not really artificial intelligence, but more like a powerful web aggregator seamlessly delivering relevant information in a human-like manner. For those well-versed in data collection and script writing, there's still a journey ahead to achieve truly natural-sounding narratives. The impact of AI has been most profound in the production industry where the speed of data collection is a game-changer. Cartier has embraced this technology for data collection, streamlining their processes and elevating their products. Jacob & Co has leveraged AI to enhance its social media presence, engaging their audience with captivating content. And then there's G-Shock, renowned for pushing boundaries. They've embraced AI in a unique way. Enter the GD001, the dream project number two. G-Shock is celebrating its 40th anniversary with an extraordinary dream project that aims to break the boundaries of innovation. Building on the success of their 35th anniversary project, they've embraced generative design powered by AI, creating a remarkable shock-resistant watch with an organic form. Crafted from exquisite 18 karat yellow gold, this watch showcases meticulous hand polishing, radiating both depth and precision. According to Kikuo Ibe, the visionary behind G-Shock, this project was driven by a desire to challenge conventions bringing together a team of young talents alongside G-Shock veterans. The team's approach was truly unprecedented, incorporating cutting-edge AI technologies with the design process. Generative design driven by AI optimized factors like structural strength, material characteristics, and processing methods pushing the boundaries of what a G-Shock could be. The resulting organic form is the bezel, band, and face defies preconceived notions of G-Shock enhancing both aesthetics and performance. To achieve this, 18 karat yellow gold, known for its opulent luster, was used for key components meticulously handcrafted through lost wax casting processes. Every detail was carefully polished demonstrating a fusion of toughness and elegance in this one-of-a-kind timepiece. The G-D001 watch is a masterpiece of innovation, incorporating bumper components into organic forms and a see-through dialless design, revealing an intricate internal mechanism. Crafted exclusively for this model, the movement features a metal mainplate, silicone cogwheels, and ruby bearings enhancing the precision of hand rotation. The solar cell utilizing a gallium compound draws from space industry expertise, significantly boosting power generation efficiency. It harnesses light, penetrating through the small gaps in the date display to power various functions including standard time radio wave reception. For many, G-Shock's commitment to technology advancement is a defining characteristic and has cultivated a devoted following. Their support for young designers and watchmakers ensures horology tribes in the new generation. Yet, for some, the end product might not meet their expectations. It seems like a big departure from the classic G-Shock DNA, leaving enthusiasts perplexed. The mix of young and experienced designers is evident, showcasing a human touch in the project but that significant differences seem to be attributed to AI. AI's ability to calculate countless geometric variations might improve durability and efficiency, but can it truly capture the emotional and instinctive connection that the human eye seeks in a timepiece? Some may argue that the G-D001 feels cold, lacking the warm spirit of a G-Shock. 
it's more like a collection of lines and curves generated by a machine. This is why I think it's a mistake to use AI in this manner. I can understand how AI makes things easier and better when it comes to the structural form of the watch. Some of you actually even defended the idea, noting that it's hard to develop the shock and water resistance required for the project, especially for AI. A valid point to make and I actually agree with the remarks made. Yes, it is a challenge, but the degree of difficulty here did not translate to a pleasing design that you could identify as G-Shock. Given the chance, I would have included some more strong branding parts such as a handcrafted bezel that we've seen G-Shock use often with the MRG line. The AI-assisted structure could still be shown on the sides liberally, but now it has a more G-Shock-centric presence. Because I aimed at making this a G-Shock design that appeals to fans first, then promote the AI capabilities second. A watch for a collector or enthusiast is much more than the sum of its parts. It needs to bring a certain joy to the one owning or wearing it. Recently, a point of contention in the entertainment industry is the use of AI in writing the shows and movies. AI was also in the middle of disputes with artists and computer-generated art. As widely used AI may be, I can see how they have not improved the media that we are consuming when used directly as art. We've seen how bland the shows and stories turned out, and the art may look visually pleasing, but it lacks the pleasing inconsistencies of the human stroke. While the concept is noble, the execution of the G-D001 may have missed the mark, highlighting the unique role of a human sensibility in appreciating a timepiece. I mean, just look at how it turned out. It looks more like an Invicta than a G-Shock. Something that I can't expect an AI could fully grasp. G-Shock has been one of my most favorite brands because not only are they affordable and they are also feature packed in every single model that they have. Now, another understated thing about G-Shock is that there's a certain humanity to their design and I think that is completely lost when they used AI to, des to design this one of a kind auction piece. If it's just a one of a kind auction piece as uh, way of promoting the brand and i can take that let's just hope that this is not the beginning of an unsavory trend and we want to burn this blueprint for not using ai